So deep learning is a computer science algorithm that's really within the category of machine learning algorithms. And deep learning has some unique characteristics to it that differentiate it from machine learning. For example, with deep learning, we can use all of the goodness of machine learning and not have to worry about something called feature extraction or design of features. This allows us basically to process data that we don't fully understand and extract useful information from it and make decisions based on that information. And this is very, very important for the entire AI revolution that's going on right now. This is a big part of the excitement as well because people have discovered that with deep learning they can very quickly process data a large volume of data and derive useful information and ask important questions and get the answers from that data. So deep learning and GPU computing have almost grow up, grown up together over the last five or six years. And part of the reason for that is because deep learning is a very data intensive process. It uses large amounts of data to train a model and then use that model to answer questions that we would like to answer on a wide variety of domains. And the processing of that data to train the model is extremely computationally intensive. It's probably one of the most computationally, computationally intensive algorithms that we know of in computer science if we throw enough data at it. It's not unlike the processing that our brain does when it learns to do things over a long period of time. There's a huge amount of data processing that goes on. This implies a huge amount of computational resources needed. And GPUs have arisen over the last 10 years or so as the premier device for delivering large amounts of computational horsepower. A number of interesting things have happened over the last five to seven years. One of the things is that the whole area of neural networks has witnessed a resurgence in interest. New attention has been paid to model development and understanding how deep, uh, deep learning and neural network models can be used. Secondly, GPUs have appeared on the scene. GPUs have been around for 10 years or so as a, as a computing animal, and in the last five to seven years, they have made huge leaps and bounds in terms of the delivery of computing horsepower. The third thing that's happened, it's really been happening for the past 10 or 20 years, is the whole big data revolution. When we have these piles and piles of data that are being generated through commerce and the internet and all forms of data aggregation, we now have a very interesting technique that we can use to process that data and get answers to questions that we would like to ask. And so the combination of these three factors has created what we call the Big Bang in machine learning. And these three factors are really going to energize the current wave of artificial intelligence work that's going on right now. So as we've been talking about this neural network, this deep learning challenge that we're facing requires a large amount of computational horsepower. And the GPU is an excellent vehicle to get that work done. However, the GPU needs a CPU to get the work done as well. And the Power 8 and future Power Architecture CPUs have integrated into them a unique connection system to the GPU called NVLink. This is a high-speed data transport bus that allows the Power 8 CPU and the NVIDIA GPU to work closely together more closely together than any other CPU-GPU combination, and this allows for an even higher level of performance. Furthermore, the SA22LC for HPC includes four of our most powerful current generation Pascal P100 GPUs, so it is directly in line with the idea of delivering large amounts of computing horsepower in a single box.